Mark 9:23 Jesus said If thou can believe everything is possible to him that believeth Psalms 93 verse 2 Your throne is established of old thou art from everlasting Psalms 119 verse 90 Thy faithfulness is unto all generation thou hast established the earth and it abideth. Greetings, friends. Have a happy Sabbath, and may the Lord bless us all. Matthew 24, verse 33. So likewise, when ye see all these things, know that it is near, even at the door. Verily, I say unto you, this generation shall not pass away till all these things have come to pass. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall abide. Second Peter 1 verse 12 Wherefore, I will not be negligent to put you in remembrance of these things, though ye know them, and be established in the present truth. Second Peter 1 verse 19 Wherefore, we have also a more sure word of prophecy, whereunto ye do well. Take heed as unto a light that shine in a dark place, till the day dawn and the day star arise in your heart, knowing this first, that there is no prophecy that is of private interpretation. Revelation 1 verse 7. Behold, he comes with the clouds, and every eye shall see him, even they that pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him revelation 14 9 to 11 and a third angel followed after them saying with a loud voice if any man worship the beast and his image and deceive his mark on his forehead or on his hand the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of god which is poured out without mixture into his cup of indignation and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever, and they have no rest day nor night, who worship the beast and his image, and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. John 16 verse 13, How bait when he the spirit of truth is come he shall guide you into all truth for he shall not speak of himself but whatsoever he shall hear that shall he speak and he shall show you things to come let's pray our lord in heaven thank you for another wonderful sabbath lord we pray that now as you promise your holy spirit may he come and speak what is truth in the name of Jesus, I pray and believe. Amen. Okay, friends, we are here again and we thank God we are alive. We have no issues. All of us are alive in Jesus Christ. So, friends, as Jesus says, watch and pray so that that day will not take you as a thief. Amen, friends. First Thessalonians 5 verse 4. For ye, brethren, are not in darkness, that that day should take you as a thief. That is why Jesus says, watch and pray. What is happening in the world and are we nearing the second coming? We are told here, workers strike for Sunday for church. Wars coming, peace almost over. Amen, friends. And then we have a topic, established. Now, friends, we are told that in this world, there is going to be a movement that will facilitate a law for enforcing Sunday on all the people. And this movement may come in a gap of a strike of workers. That is it. And also this movement will come in working areas. For example, laboring. They'll say we need to labor for six days and rest on the seventh day. Now, according to them, which day is the Sabbath? According to them is Sunday. But God's word says the Sabbath is the seventh day, which is saturday as you know jesus died on the jesus died on uh, friday and then on the sabbath he stayed in the tomb and then on sunday he resurrected 
Look at this now, friends. You are told here. A thousand workers take action as strike October hits the U.S. Amen, friends. So there we are told that uh, ha, workers in America were striking. I wonder what are they striking for? Look at this. More than a hundred thousand workers, U.S. workers, will strike or have threatened to in October as a wave of industrial action dub strike October hits America. Yes, friends, look at this. Port workers strike Trenton's entire U.S. economy. How will it impact 2024 elections? Amen, friends. So we know clearly where the ball is heading to. They will use the gap of strikes for Sunday observance. Mm. Look at this. Nearly 50,000 dock workers continue strike, sparking recession fears in America. Mm -hmm. Now, friends, the main agenda, whatsoever the word of God said, uh, they will put one day of rest for the workers, and that day will be Sunday. Now, friends, look at this. Isol of Lewis, Christians urge Tesco to keep what? Sunday special. Oh, that was the main agenda why they were striking. Huh? They want an Sunday off. Inspiration says uh, the trade unions will be one of the agencies that will bring upon this earth a time of trouble such as not been since the world began. So the trade unions are just one of the agencies which will also usher in the time of trouble which is the sunday rest on people mm? which is the sunday forced on the people and now friends trade unions that implies economy money in revelation 13 verse 17 and that no man might buy or sell save he that has the mark of the beast so clearly, economy is going to be used to usher in the time of trouble. That is what that inspiration says. Economy under trade unions. Yes, friends. Look at this. Sunday law. Hmm? People will be forced to worship on one day, which will be Sunday. Look at this. Trade unions join forces with Christian counselor to oppose changes to what? Sunday trading in belfast look at this our members remain opposed to extending sunday trading hours allowing large stores to open for longer hours on sunday will have a negative impact on retail workers their families and our communities longer sunday trading will take a heavy toll on staff who will come under even more pressure to work when they would rather be doing what? Be spending time with family and engaging in community, sports, and leisure activities. Or what? Finish that. Attending church. You see the main agenda of the strikes. Huh? That is where the devil is taking this ball. Yes, friends. So I have heard from there clearly. That is where the ball is swinging to. We know clearly everything is going to that direction. All of us will be forced to rest on one day, which will be Sunday by law. The question is, uh, am I ready? This strikes all of them. Everything that happens in this world, it is either fulfilling God's word. Nothing that happens without a reason. As Ecclesiastes 3 says, there is time for everything. Time for peace. Time for war, time for bath, time for death, time for dancing, time for not. Yes, friends, look at this. Mm? We know they got Sunday from Rome, Daniel 7, 25. And he shall speak, and he shall speak great words against the Most High and uh, think to change times and laws. And there shall be given to him for a time, times, and a half a time so the roman empire ruling in church and state they transferred the sabbath from saturday to sunday no wonder the workers say they want a sunday off and very soon it will be regulated by law and all people of this world will be forced to worship on that day only sunday the day of the antichrist look at this sunday is our mark of authority the church is above the Bible, and this transfer of Sabbath observance is proof 
of that fact. That is the book of Catholic Record of London. So they themselves acknowledge they change the Sabbath from the seventh day to Sunday. So the Catholics say, of course, in our books, we change the Sabbath from Saturday to Sunday. Themselves, they say it. Huh? Look at this, friends. Supreme Court flooded with prayers for relief from groups eager to promote religion. That is the Supreme Court of America. Now, friends, remember we studied about the mindset of religio-political secularism. We saw that the king of the north, religio-political, is coming to take over. Mm? So the mindset of religio-political will be regulated into law and people will be forced to go with the religion of the state, which will not be the religion of Jesus Christ. As Jesus says in John 18:36, my kingdom is not of this world. And Jesus says, give to Caesar what is Caesar, and to God what is God. And Jesus also says, I am not of this world. So Jesus does not want the state to regulate the Ten Commandments. He does not, friends. People have a choice, huh? but the state can regulate the other remaining six commandments. But the first four commandments of thou shalt not have any other God, of uh, thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image, of uh, thou shalt not use my name in vain, of thou remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Those four commandments the government should not regulate. But the other six, the government can put you in prison for stealing, for committing adultery, all of it. But the first four belong to us and God and the rest of the six is between man and man so the state should not promote religion at all leave people to worship with the freedom that God has given to them you know Jesus wants us to worship him out of love mm, out of love look at this religious interest groups are queuing up a series of high-profile appeals at the Supreme Court this fall that could further tear down the wall separating church and state. Clearly we saw friends in the book Great Controversy, The Time of Trouble. As we are told, when Satan comes as, as Christ in the crowning act, he will bless the worshippers of the beast and his image. Meaning, if the devil is going to come as Christ in the year 2025, as they say, then we should expect the image of the beast to be formed before that time so that when he comes he blesses the worshippers of the image of the beast look at this friends hmm? the battle over louisiana 10 commandments law is over the future of church and state separation okay so clearly from there louisiana wants to say that i want to be sued at the supreme court that is just pushing the agenda to put or to allow the image of the beast to be formed which is church and state the papacy is the beast revelation 13 1 to 10 and uh, the second beast is america now america will exercise the power of the first beast it will rule in church and state the image of the beast look at this I can't wait to be sued. Louisiana Governor Jeff Landry said last week, just before signing a law requiring all public schools in state to display the Ten Commandments in each classroom. The question is, uh, which Ten Commandments? The Catholics have their version of the Ten Commandments, and we have the Bible version of the Ten Commandments. And even if it is the Bible, uh, it is the Ten Commandments of the Bible. God does not want to force people. He does not. People should worship God in love. But this is false coming. Huh? Look at this. Project 2025 uh, is a 922 document. What document that details a series of policy proposals that will reshape the American government, posing significant threats to the separation of church and state. This proposal aim to advance a theocratic agenda mm. promoting policies that favor specific what specific religious doctrines uh, look at that uh, 
that seems like religious political over secular governors oh that seems like king of the south those mindset are conflicting there mm? look at this how project 2025 impact the separation of church and state so clearly friends church and state is coming to america 2025 yes first that is it church and state is coming soon am i ready are you ready mm? look at this project 2025 is a dense setest for religious freedom revelation 13 verse 11 i beheld another beast coming up out of the earth and he spoke as a dragon it came first speaking as a lamb giving people freedom huh? but soon as a dragon it will force do or die opus day mm. look at this one nation under god how liberal religion dominated mid century america you see that friends huh? one nation under god as they say which god mm? which god which god the god in the dollar that is satan huh? look at this stab of recognition cult escape daughter warns trump coming for america believers that is true friends that is true he is going to play the role like that of the antichrist exercise the power of the first beast look at this trump reshares a video that portrays him as a god gift to earth oh okay friends clearly as you have been studying all the time we really see the end is coming and uh, this side thinks that war trump is fighting for god while yet it is not god of heaven it is another god all of these sides are used by satan to deceive the masses no wonder jesus was saying if possible the very elect will be deceived if possible they will deceive the very elect and jesus was saying by the way they will do great signs and wonders that if possible the very elect will be deceived so wonders and signs can deceive even the very elect that is the main thing friends mm? and revelation 13 verse 13 and he do it great wonders no wonder jesus was saying if possible the very elect will be deceived by religious political look at this black pentecostal and charismatic christians are boosting their visibility in politics a shift from the past so the mindset is going to religio political now friends the book of matthew 24 verse 6 jesus says clearly ye shall hear of what wars and rumors of wars but what hmm? and you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars see that you be not troubled for all these things must come to pass but the end is not yet it is just the beginning of the end look at this friends trump says uh, iran will have never attacked israel if he was president once us on the brink of world war three okay now friends we know clearly national apostasy is followed by national ruin look at this friends now the person who is going to bring the national apostasy by this issue of project 2025 is also saying that national ruin is coming world war three you see it friends so you got national apostasy sunday enforced by law and then you have the whole world involved in ruin higher or more even worse than that of jerusalem of old mm -hmm. that is it so clearly we saw as israel rejected the messiah and crucified him then ad 70 came what destruction by titus and also ad 35 the israel as a nation ad, AD 34 ad 34 israel as a nation rejecting christianity uh, stoning stephen then came national ruin ad 70 okay also the time of the three hebrew boys mm -hmm. we saw nebuchadnezzar putting an image of the beast image which was just apostasy from the true god and then came what ruin of babylon mene mene tekel ah mene mene tekel on the wall 
and that is it thy kingdom has been divided to the medes and the persian that is national apostasy followed by national ruin amen friends also we saw the time of esther chapter 3 when mordecai when haman said he's the one to be worshipped that was apostasy from the truth then what came for haman he was hanged uh, national apostasy followed by national ruin amen let's move we are told here israel versus iran war that is it now let's take care here the devil has brought literal israel to go in war with what with the part of iran as many people see this is a war between israel as they think israel belong to god's people Mm? And other people say Islam, which is the Antichrist. But that is all a lie. So let us take care. That is all a lie. Mm? Now, we are told clearly that the devil always brings a counterfeit before the true one. Okay? So we've got, we've got now Iran, which is the part of Islam, and Israel, which is just the Jew state. And as we saw in the past, they already planned that the World War Three will be brought between the Islamic leaders and uh, the American leaders. So America always protects Israel. But Israel is not literal of God. It is spiritual Israel. Those who keep the commandments of God uh, and the testimony of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Mm? As you saw there. The war must be conducted in such a way that Islam, which you can say Iran, the Muslim Arabic world, and political Zionism, the state of Israel, mutually destroy each other. Mm -hmm. That is it, friends. Yes, friends, that is it. The devil brings a counterfeit before the true one. Okay? So the devil has brought a counterfeit. So if they, they, they attack the the israel and they begin that war in october 7 2023 what is coming friends for us sir? because after attacking the counterfeit they will always come for the true israel which we know it is those who keep the commandments of god and the faith of jesus so friends let's get ready remember we are told that the four winds ah, let's go there the book of revelation 7 ah, revelation 7 the four winds are held until the sealing time is ended the book of revelation 7 verse 1 listen and after these things i saw four angels standing on the four corners north south east west ah, four corners of the earth holding the four winds ah, winds implies wars we go with the context okay the winds the wars the wars destroy what look at this the four winds of the earth that the wind should not blow on the earth nor on the sea nor on any tree okay friends so clearly the sea implies what people revelation 17 15 the multitude you saw are and the waters that you saw are people nation tanks and kindreds and what about any tree also the tree represent people remember the blind man when he was opened his eyes he said i see people like trees mm, that is it so the walls are held back so that no people can be destroyed look at this verse 2 and i saw another angel ascending from the east 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 having the seal of the living God. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt. So these are the winds which hurt the earth and the sea. These are wars which destroy everything. Saying, hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God in their forehead. So all these winds will only blow after the close of probation the general one when jesus says let him that is filthy be filthy still let him that is holy be holy still as we are told in the book of revelation 22 verse 11 so clearly we are heading there these winds will blow up people will be astonished huh? they'll say indeed jesus is coming soon huh? this is just the beginning 
let's get ready with our Lord. And now, friends, we saw that the four winds are going to blow very soon, very soon. After the national apostasy, we go to national ruin. The four winds will blow up. The world has rejected God's mercy. The Spirit of God is being withdrawn. Mm. The Spirit of God is being withdrawn. And uh, soon, the hearts of men will be very, very bad. People will not love each other at all. That is where we are going. Now, friends, the book of Revelation 9, that is the only part where we see the four winds uh, are loosed. Revelation 9. In the first war, second war, we have those one there. You can see. Mm? The book of Revelation 9 talks about the Islamic nation. We already have a study about Revelation chapter 9. So we are heading to the third war. Mm? Okay, if the four angels who hold the four winds uh, were loosed uh, during the time of Islam, also the winds uh, which will blow must come also from Islam. Because you are told clearly there is nothing new under the sun. That which has been is now and that which is to be has already been. Ecclesiastes 3.15 So destruction is likely to come in the world by or being triggered by the people called Islam. That is it. Look at this. Revelation 9. 9 verse... Uh, Revelation 9 verse, let's see, verse 14. Look at this. Saying to the sixth angel, which are the trumpet, lose the four angels which are bound in the great river Euphrates. And the four angels were loose, which were prepared for an hour and a day, a month and an year, for to slay the third part of men. So when the four angels were open at that first time, which came until August 11, 1840. We, all, we have a whole study of Revelation 9. This is just a summary. Whole study is there. You can search for it. We have uh, August 11, 1840. As we saw that clearly when, uh, when the Turkish Empire ended. Uh, that was it. When the Turkish Empire ended. And uh, that is when we saw wars stopped happening in uh, Europe with the Islam. Mm? But soon... The third war is coming. The third war is coming. We are going to the third war. We are going to the third war. There is a difference between World War Three and the third war. Is there any difference? It is, friends. War, war, war. We are going to the third war. That has never been. Look at this, friends. So clearly, the Islamic people triggered the four winds. And they are likely to do the same thing again. But of course, as long as the four winds will blow, they will blow when Jesus has said, let him that is just be just still, let him that is filthy be filthy still, and the whole world will be in ruin. Now friends, let's close with our study for today. The study was about established. We should be established in Jesus Christ. Yes, friends, establish the book of Genesis 41, verse 32. Whenever a dream is established by the Lord twice, it will always come to pass. Remember the story of Joseph. That was it. Genesis 41, verse 32. And for this, the dream was double unto Pharaoh because the thing is established by God. And... He will shortly bring it to pass. Amen, friends. So the dream was double unto Pharaoh because it will come to pass and it was established by God. Meaning, whatsoever things the Lord has established, it must come to pass. The book of Daniel chapter 2, Daniel chapter 7, twice. And the Lord has established it and it must come to pass. The book of Revelation 13, the book of Revelation 14, the Bible has been established and all the words of Jesus must come to pass and none of them will ever fail. And as Jesus says in the mouth of two or three witness, let the truth be established. Amen, friends. 
let's move the book of exodus 15 verse 17 amen exodus 15 verse 17 the sanctuary is established by god amen friends the truth about the sanctuary in the adventist church is established by god himself exodus 15 17 thou shall bring them in and plant them in the mountain of thy inheritance in the place which thou hast made for thee which thou hast made for thee in the sanctuary in the sanctuary which thy hands have established so the hands of the lord have established the heavenly sanctuary and also the truth about the sanctuary jesus getting to the most holy place october 22nd 1844 to pray for you and i to do the last work of his ministry now friends indeed are we established as the sanctuary of god in heaven is established so the truth about the sanctuary is established by god and let no man touch it we are told here the book of deuteronomy 28 verse 9 okay to add on that that the sanctuary was built by god okay we are told in psalm 78 verse 16 psalm 78 verse 16 and he built his sanctuary like high palaces like the earth which he has established and it abideth amen friends which he has established forever that is it so the lord established the truth about the sanctuary and as the earth is established forever so is the heavenly sanctuary so is the truth about the sanctuary established amen we are told in the book of psalm 78 verse 5 mm -hmm. we should be established by the law and the testimony amen friends established by the law and the testimony psalms 78 verse 5 and he established and he has given a testimony in jacob and appointed a law and do what and appointed a law in israel and he commanded our fathers that they should make known them to their children amen friends so establish a law in uh, jacob and establish a testimony in israel law the ten commandments exodus 20 testimony revelation 19 verse 10 for the testimony of jesus is the spirit of prophecy amen friends so we should be established in the law of god and also in the testimony which is the spirit of prophecy and then we are told in the book of deuteronomy 28 verse 9 the lord will establish you a holy people amen friends we don't have power to make ourselves holy but the blood of jesus makes you and i to be holy when we live for him deuteronomy 28 verse 9 the lord shall establish thee a holy people unto himself as he has sworn if thou will keep the commandments of god and walk in his ways so the lord has promised if we keep his commandments then he will make us to be holy as you are told in ezekiel 20 verse 20 hallo my sabbath to be assigned between me and you that ye may know that i am the lord that doeth sanctify you yes friends so when you keep the commandments of god you are covered with the righteousness of jesus christ as christ says in john 14 verse uh, verse 5 if you love me keep my commandments amen friends amen friends amen friends jesus says clearly if you love him keep his commandments what if you don't love him don't keep his commandments huh? don't keep it huh? but if you love jesus he says clearly in john 14 verse uh, verse 15 verse 15 if you love me keep my commandments amen now we move amen friends so 
clearly that is it we should keep the commandments of god that is what we teach we teach people to live a christian life by keeping the commandments of god and not their own heart and not what their own heart says you go with the commandments of god and the bible the book of first chronicles 28 verse 7 also there we are told we are established by keeping the commandments of god first chronicles 28 verse 7 and i will establish his kingdom forever if he constant amen friends if he constant keep my commandments and my judgment as a, as it is this day amen friends so the lord has promised he will establish us if we keep his commandments amen let's move the book of uh, proverbs Proverbs 12 verse 3. Mm -hmm. Proverbs 12 verse 3. We are told we shall not be established in wickedness. Huh? Proverbs 12 verse 3. And the wicked, uh, a man shall not be established in wickedness, but the root of the righteous shall not be moved. Amen, friends. So in wickedness, we can never be established. It is you, go to Christ, tell him, Lord, I am weak here. Help me. To cast off the work of darkness and live for Jesus. We are told in the book of Proverbs 16 verse 3. Commit thy works unto the Lord and thy thoughts shall be established. You want your mind to be established. You want your mind to be always focusing on the commandments of God. Never to forget God in your life. The Bible says in Proverbs 16 verse 3. Commit thy works unto the lord and thy thoughts shall be established thy mindset shall be established amen friends every day wherever you go mm, every day whatsoever thing you do commit it to the lord and then your thoughts will be established we move the book of acts acts 16 verse 5 we are established by faith amen established by faith acts 16 verse 5 acts 16 verse 5 says and the churches were established by faith and increased in number daily that was when the holy ghost came uh, day of pentecost the churches were growing daily uh, what is happening nowadays in our churches i wonder hmm? remember we are told clearly the later rain will come and it will be more powerful than the early rain and the churches will grow daily that is why we are told we are established by the faith by the faith of jesus revelation 14 verse 12 here is the patience of the saints here are they that keep the commandments of god and the faith of jesus christ amen friends so we are established by the faith of jesus now we close with this establish in the present truth amen establish in the present truth second peter 1 verse 12 wherefore i will not be negligent to put you in remembrance of these things though ye know them and be established in the present truth amen so jesus christ was teaching people with the events that were happening and telling them about the kingdom of God. Remember the parable of the sower. Mm. There was a sower there. Huh? There was a sower who was planting seeds. And that is why Christ took that parable. Huh? And also remember the parable of the wise virgins huh? and the foolish virgins. There was a wedding or going. We had a wedding in Cana okay so of course jesus christ everything that he teaches was about the current events and how they should point us or make me and you to see the kingdom of jesus is coming so may the lord keep us faithful may he establish us in the truth have a blessed time and may the lord keep us faithful let's pray our lord in heaven we thank you so much for your word indeed lord we need to be established in you that we shall never be moved as you say lord you are the rock we're going to hide under you and we shall not be moved 
Lord, we pray that everything that happens in this world, Lord, help us always to be established in your word, to be established in the faith of Jesus. Help us to constantly, whatsoever things we do, may they glorify your name. I pray, Lord, that when you come, don't forget us in your kingdom. Keep us faithful until when you appear. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray and believe. Amen.